Uh, the team this year, we're, we're young. We've, uh, we have four returning players this year. Uh, we have uh, uh, three of our, uh, three of our uh, seniors, our Brian Seymour, Tony Preer, and Joel Schultz. Uh, and then we also have our, our, one of our tri-captains, Curtis McMahon. He's a, uh, he's a junior, but uh, does a nice job for us. He and Joel and Tony will be our, our one, two, three pitchers in our order this year uh, to start the season, certainly. Uh, and then we go from there. We have uh, 10 other players that are juniors or sophomores on a team, so obviously we're very, very young. And I think that, uh, like I say, we have some flexibility there so we can move these people around to different, different positions. So I like, our, I like our mix, I like our makeup. What are a few goals you have for the season? Well, always our number one goal is a state championship. As you can see, this year's baseball team looks very promising. And now on to softball. Thanks, Mike. This year's softball team has many key returners, and they are looking to get past the regional finals this year. The team is made up of all returners, and they know what they have to do to win. And a lot of the girls are back from last year, and even though we're, we're quite young, they, they know what their expectations are they've worked really hard so I'm, I'm happy with the with the team they seem to be get along quite well and you don't have to get on them to 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 work coach Bergdorf believes the team can handle the best of any competition we know last year when we went into the regionals and we fl placed uh, flushing we held them five to nothing for five innings so they know that they can play with the competition and giving us that one more year of experience with everybody coming back you know, that could be nothing but a plus for, for us. Our pitching, uh, we have a junior and we have a sophomore, uh, which I think is definitely stronger than it was last year. Uh, catching position is, is going to be strong, but to predict how we're going to do, well, it's kind of up to them. Games is up, our rocks my world! We're keeping dirty! Now that you know how good our baseball and softball teams are going to be, let's check out tennis with Mike McManaman. Thanks, Kevin. This year's tennis team looks to improve upon last year's performance and hopes to win the Big Nine. We expect to do a little bit better in the Big Nine this year, better than usually about 500. We're just going to try to get a little excitement about tennis and Davidson this year. This year's Big Nine championship shouldn't be too hard to grasp with such great returners. I had my number one workout all summer, fall, and winter, and uh, John Archer expects to be one of the top premier players of the Big Nine this year. Um, I've got a lot of good doubles teams this year. I have uh, honorable mention all big nine last year, Dave Basia and Sean Worley. Also, Andrew Wilcock is a returning veteran. He's been on the varsity for three years. And we have, like I said, a lot of good players in the junior varsity last year, which did very well. So I expect to have a very good year this year. Reporting from Davidson High School, I'm Kevin Macklin. I'm Mike McManaman. DTV Sports.